So, uh, yeah, shouts to Fury. So <laughs> let, let me come here and talk the most tinfoil madness, mind blowing <laughs> FGC tech. It's honestly been like the longest two hours of my life. It's been pretty dark considering we've been talking about concerts that we've been using <laughs> since the beginning of time. Yeah, literally like two decades of my life. <laughs> using these fucking <laughs> phrases so yeah like all i wanted to do is kind of go over terminologies maybe think about if they should be taken literally or not i personally would like them to be taken literally but that would mean changing meanings and getting rid of old terminologies which is probably it's too late in the day for that yeah uh, but as long as we can come up with concepts will be easier for people to understand because I think a lot of people do look at terminologies literally and they get the wrong idea and then use it in wrong if they find tech or see other tech they'll go oh this is this but with a little twist so they use the beginning of that terminologies that's not about fuzzies but fuzzies is one of them yeah and like I think uh, a good example of like a term that uh, doesn't necessarily mean something specific but it's like used as general, like we were speaking about before, shimmies. Yeah. You yeah. know, it was originally, well, I'm sure someone used it in like fighting and outside of fighting games. Yeah. But it was the Gutex shimmy was yeah. where it's popularized, right? And that was him walking out of crouch tech range and walking back in and throwing them or punishing them. Yeah. And now a shimmy is a more, it's a way bigger term than that. It could be baiting any number of things. Mm -hmm. It could be any means of moving backwards, whether it's a back dash, an air dash backwards, yeah. and then moving yeah. forward. So it's like, that's a really successful term. Yeah. Just because it doesn't mean a really, really specific thing. No. And yeah, like you're saying, when you get to the specifics, because the FGC is shares terminology, like, because... Virtual Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, Street Fighter, all these games actually share a lot of the same te terminology. It's not, it doesn't mean the same thing in no, the same game. It's because mechanics are different. Exactly. Like they're all fighting games, but the mechanics work differently. Uh, I think a pretty good example is MK when it comes to, like you said, with shimmies. It works differently because you don't have like proximity block. Yes. So if you did uh, a shimmy in Street Fighter 4, if someone crouch tech, you would be put into block, which would make it so you are just outside the range. Yes. In MK, if you hold back and someone throws a button at, you're still walking back. You have to stop yourself from moving manually. So, shimmy's the same thing, but you have to execute it differently. So the mechanics are different. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, there's not enough terms like shimmy in. No, there isn't. It just isn't. Shimmy's like the only one where it's like everyone can understand it. And like you said, in anime games, it's just. Uh, you could IAD backwards, for example, and go back in. It's just the motion of going out and then in. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's it's more, it's a concept rather than, like, a tech. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. We, which, yeah, it just, when you get to the tech part of things, like we're going to get into, it gets real mad when you're suddenly going, <laughs> like, mate, like, there's, like, all these terms we use in in Street Fighter but it's also in Virtua Fighter but they literally mean it's different things because no yeah. one's doing fucking jump attacks on you like yeah. outside of hop kicks so you're like yeah it's mad it gets mad real quick and then hop uh, empty hops the fucking tomahawks apparently yeah in Smash an empty hop into a fucking throw is apparently a tomahawk I mean shout out to Smash mate I mean be yeah. different <laughs> I mean I mean, that is like a concept of shimmy and they just gave a term and we've never I've never heard of someone paraphrase an empty jump throw yeah never heard of it we've got tick throw we've got tick throw which is quite literal yeah it makes sense right I don't it's know kind of tick, like a, but... yeah the word tick is weird but it also I think it's already started on like a complete <laughs> tangent but I think it's because like short short super is tap tap super so should, should it be tap throw was it ever tap throw? That I've, I've actually heard people call it yeah, tap Yeah, that doesn't throw. seem too alien. Maybe it was tap throw and they just turned it to tick. Yeah, I don't know where the tick came from in that one. It's not even short, it's longer. No, it's literally longer. <laughs> it's literally longer. It's literally longer. It's literally longer. Uh, it's long. I mean, yeah, if anyone wants to find out where the term tick throw came from and tell us, I have no idea. Like, I'm pretty good with the tin foil stuff. Yeah. That one, tick, like, your Why time's tick? running out because I'm going to no. throw you. No, it can't be that. I mean, tick is a form of time, right? Yeah, TikTok, mate. 
I think that's what it is. It's time for you to get thrown. It's <laughs> time for you to get thrown. <laughs> that's what the jab means. It's time for you to get thrown. No one does. Because there's no tick hit. That's not a concept. It's only tick throw. Yeah. But for tick throws to work, uh, for tick throws to work, there must be an op- that For me, there must be an opposite. So tick, tick? Mate, must I, be a thing. I only hit talk throws. <laughs> I just talk throws, man. That is doing, that's doing um, a crouch fierce and then walking up and throwing. That is a talk fit. Talk, talk yeah. throw. That's a talk throw immediately. What, what, what is, we must just, I, I can't think of it, but there must be a situation. I mean, Street Fighter Five does it actually a lot. What you do, I want to call it tick, even though it's a jab. Mm. Tick button, like yeah. tick fierce, or tick roundhouse, yeah, 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 or tick yeah. DP. But they have, is it a term? I don't think it's a term. No. It's just tick throw. Tick throw is the only term. If you do, if you do jab fierce, it's a frame trap. Yeah. If it's jab throw, it's not a frame trap. It's... Well, it is. It can be a frame trap. But no one calls it a frame trap. They call it a tick throw. They call it a tick throw. Yeah, because I've heard tap throw. I've heard tap throw. A bunch yeah. of times. That makes sense because of tap, tap, super. Yeah. And just like jabs being called taps. Yeah, or shorts exactly. As well. yeah, yeah. That makes sense to me. The, mate, I, all right, I'm tin full <laughs> hat. Immediately, let's get right in there. Tin full hats. All right, go ahead. Right. Go. A tick throw mm-hmm. is jab throw. Yep. Tick tock, jab, <laughs> jab into a fist. That's the thing. I like it. Wait. I can get on board with that. Right. Tick tock. Tick tock. That is literally every like ball rock in Street Fighter. Tick tock in everyone's Tick Tick tocks. <laughs> Wait, that is so sick. Never getting called a frame trap again. It's getting called a tick tock. But why is it not? Why is it? Why is a tick throw not? Maybe it is, and people, maybe it's underlying, but why is a tick throw not considered a frame? Why is it not just called a frame trap? Because that's what it is. Yeah. It's, oh, okay, wait, wait. All right, let's go into this. What is a frame trap? Because I have a definition. I've actually fucking wheel up. <laughs> All right. right. Frame David, okay. <laughs> uh, I know why it's different, because in Street Fighter 2, you can get thrown where you're still basically blocking. Okay. So you can do, say with um, Zangief, mm-hmm. you can do like jab and then SPD, or even Barrel can do like jab and then throw, and you can't jump out of it because you're still kind of blocking. What do you mean by kind of blocking? Are you it, blocking? You're blocking. Can you get thrown in block stun? Well, that situation never really happens. I think because you're at frame advantage, you can. Like, all right, fucking. Wait, once again, you've got wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Layers. Right. I'm, like, I'm trying to remember like the last 10 years of my life it was very <laughs> a lot of boots in between that time so yes you can you can get thrown in block stun in, all right so it's yeah. unius yeah not without the whole technical like you've got more windows to take if you're blocking yeah block. or like uh blast blue yeah i okay. believe that's the case okay like but you can reverse a lot of it so that makes me think i might be wrong so you can mm. actually so say zangief once again does jab svd right you yep. can't hold up Yep. Is that because you're getting thrown in pre-jump? Mm, could be, but I believe you're still blocking. I believe you're still blocking. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to throw bare questions at you because I'm... Ignorant, I'm going to actually have to look it up. I'm <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Right, right, There's more fun right, off the top of your head. Right, right, right. If you block the tick, mm-hmm. can you backdash the throw? There's no backdash. There's no backdash in ST? No. There's no There's no dashes. So there's not... The only in throw invincible move you have is a reversal. A reversal, yeah. Right. So, I'm guessing you can't reverse without blocks done. Yeah, I'm guessing not. But I know you, you can. Oh, this is so fucked up. Because I've seen it a million times. <laughs> but no one's ever, like... I've never sat down. No one's questioned you about it. No one's questioned. Like, I know that if you do jab into an SPD, I can't get out of it. But I can reverse it out of it. So, you can get out of it. You can. But if he does a jump attack into an SPD, you can't get out of it if you're playing flash kick character. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because you're letting go of down charge... Because you're blocking the jump in. This is why yeah. SC's fucked, by the way. Okay, yeah. So then right. he does a safe jump on you. You have to block the safe jump by standing. Yeah. And then he SPDs you. And you can't get out of it. Because you've no longer got a reversal. Because you're not holding down. And you can't jump out. Right. What could be the issue here is the pre-jump is just not throwing vulnerable. Yeah. Which is what I'm assuming. Oh, and most games? No, most games. Most yeah, games yeah, pre-jump yeah. isn't vulnerable. Yeah. It's probably that. Okay. And uh, you probably can't be thrown in block sun, and I'm just losing my mind. So the tick in there would be to take the tick. Not the throw, take the tick. Sometimes you can take the tick. 
but then you kind of create the same situation where you're taking you're taking a tick but then they just throw you anyway because throw ranges are fucked but wouldn't you can, you can't combo it's not KOF like, yeah you, you can't can, combo into it yeah. so when it would well there's just less hit stun really there's not as much hit stun right so it's just like an imbalance between block stun and hit stun yeah like there should be <laughs> more block stun and less yeah no you, more of both right more hit stun and more block stun no, to make the throw whiff on hit yeah I mean, the thing is, the buttons in that game are just super fucking quick as well. Right. So, like, doing jab-jab is just, like, just like fucking zero frames. <laughs> like, you know, like, jabs in old games start yeah, yeah. hella quick. Yeah. So doing, yeah, like, jab-jab into it and, like, whatever is just really quick. The SPD is also really quick. It just doesn't make that much of a difference. And the jabs are pretty plus, so you can jab the SPD. Yeah. You c- it's long, man. So, tick, tick throws... I'm sounding so ignorant right now. I played SE for so long. Like, literally five... It was a long time ago, though. It was a long time ago, but five years of my life playing a fucking game. And like, I'm pushing me back And Balrog, who tick throws everyone all of the time. Would you ever do, like, tick tap? I can't believe I'm saying that. Uh, no, because it's not really... Well, yeah, you do. So you would do, like, uh, Balrog would do jab, jab, and then strong. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of, like... It's kind of different because you're very rarely you're not hit confirming as much as you do in other games right yeah. because the things are just like generally safe. safe so like I would do like jab crouch jab crouch jab crouch strong and then low rush so you would do it but the throws are zero frames so it's kind of like depending on your throw range yeah you wouldn't really do like jab then strong because if there's a gap they're gonna throw you it's like gooey gear right it's all yeah. about spacing yeah, yeah, correctly yeah, spacing. so is there no uh is there any reason to shimmy in that game um so outside of matchups yeah outside of matchups so is there any reason to shimmy not really like you would just put them in plus frames I mean like you you definitely can do it like getting a whiff punish is good but the the window to whiff punish is just so small because the game's so fast yeah so you would rather yeah. just rush down and go for tick throws yeah but I'm, I'm trying to think why uh, Shimmyin wasn't prominent there and it's, it seems because the tick tock and tick throw is just so was good. so much yes yeah. so making something whiff was not redundant but not worth it you might as well just go for the the mix as in throw or another button yeah and also you gotta remember I played a character with like the best throw range like right. one of the best throw ranges right. so for other characters where they have shit throw ranges like Fei Long they mm-hmm. might want to do that right okay. so they would do like a jab walk out and then whiff punish with Wrecker because it's safe okay um, that definitely could be a thing but it's just like the win tick throws are just so good mm-hmm. that it's like why would you even would do you that yeah. where like rather than trying like read what you're going to do I can just put you in a guaranteed mix up well you can't do anything bar reversal exactly yeah, yeah. so then like just becomes a totally different read I'm making where I'm like are you going to reversal out of this or are you just going to fucking take the throw right so that's the where the mind game's going it's a uh, do you think with uh, that term tick it's it's like a unit like I don't know like like you said like I think most people if they're told if say you're watching something and a comment go a commentator says tick throw yeah by seeing it and hearing it you all make it go I know what that is yeah where other stuff like fuzzy you you see it but you don't understand what happens yeah it's weird that we know what tick throw is yeah I think like it's it's just. It's like a really arbitrary piece of language that yeah, like people tick. are just suddenly like even tap throw is kind of like yeah fine like I guess tick just means jab right like or In what like universe what timeline has tick ever met I'm I'm not like criticizing it it's, it's just interesting that we just accept, accept it. that as yeah. like language that we use it's common knowledge apparently yeah. tick means jab in in no other there's never been a notation where they went do. Tick, tick, super. That's never been a thing, right? Tap, tap, super, but never tick, tick, super. See, we need jammers in here because I don't talk to enough Street Fighter Five players. They like don't say tick, tick, super. Well, no, they don't say <laughs> tick, tick, super or tap, tap, super. They don't do tap. Yeah, unless it's right hard to do. Yeah, but like, I don't also remember the last time I've heard some new player call something a tick throw. They must do. But think about it. 
Did you I, call it a throw? I don't think they do tick throws in Street Fighter. They do, man. Jam, just jam. train traps with buttons. It's crouch medium, crouch medium. Yeah, but it's still technically a tick throw, isn't it? If you do crouch jab and then walk forward. Yeah, and throw, no, you're right. And I mean, they, so they're doing it. Yeah, Cammy's do it a lot. What am I talking about? Cammy's always do it. Yeah, like people are tick throwing, but no one's calling it a tick What do they call it then? Frame trap? I think so. <laughs> or they, is it just take the throw? Just take the throw. <laughs> <laughs> that's maybe, maybe that's what ticks stood for. Yeah. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> they just shortened it in a really weird way. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah well. Yeah. We'll ask Jammers. I'm. I'm. I'm sure. I'm sure. Commentators of that era would call it a tick. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe new commentators don't use the word tick, which I'm not mad at. Yeah. But I do like how tick and shimmy are just. I mean, shimmy is like. I think it's by like in the dictionary is yeah. moving in and out or out and in or yeah whatever. exactly it's just like it's basically just faking movement isn't yeah, it like, yeah. that's all it is it's uh, just a bait maybe tinfoil moment maybe tick is the sound effect that used to make when you did a jab oh my god yeah that makes a lot of sense that does make it makes a lot of sense to me <laughs> Oh, uh, if we're wrong, though, we look like twats. <laughs> I, mean, I look like a twat, uh, yeah, yeah. but I'll hold that. Mate, I, I forgot how fucking that's how the sound effect. working ST, mate. Like, my child is ruined. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it makes sense that it would be the... Sound effect. it kind of does sound like that. On block, yeah? Yeah. It does sound like a tick. It does sound like a tick. Oh, my days. <laughs> but, like, the, this was meant to be a fucking talk about, like, option selects and shit, and we, we're honestly just turning... It's like, it's time team. Oh my god! It's time to. I'm Tony Robinson. Mythbusters. <laughs> Mythbusters. <laughs> yeah, this is actually just Mythbusters. This yeah, is mad. No, fucking time team. Everyone should watch time team. That is Sh- sick. Big ups time team. Time team is actually gas. Like you learn a lot from the from past. Yeah, from past events, and that's. I think it's it is sick. Like talking about things we take for granted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And concepts, and I mean, I guess tick throw can't be evolved. No. I don't think we're gonna go. Oh, the sound effect's different. Let's call it. Whoosh, <laughs> Mate, it's, it's throw. <laughs> it's throw. Right, that's the, shout out to Shallow Force. Shout out to Lee. Shout out to Lee. Uh, but yeah, I don't think... Some concepts like shimmy, tick, like we're saying, I think are really good concepts, uh, terminologies. You can look... You don't. Even, it's not even about being literal. It's just, I know what that means. Well, that's the thing, though. Like, tick... That's why I brought up ST. Yeah. Where it's like, ST, a tick throw was a... F- kind of a throw from a button that you couldn't jump out of. Mm-hmm. So that well, actually tech. was more tech. Now mm-hmm. we use it in a more general term. Yeah. Because you can still jump now, pre-jumps are throwing vulnerable. Mm-hmm. So that means that the term tick throw, I guess, doesn't work. Well, well I mean, it does work because the language has just evolved with the yeah, time. Language- now it is like, I am keeping you here so you can't press a button. It's more of a frame trap now than it was then. Because then it was like, you cannot get out of this unless you reversal. Now it's kind of like, I'm keeping you in place and then getting a throw on you. I think what, like the whole start of this conversation was to umbrella things and to wrap this bit up quickly. Yeah. is We was going to talk about things that came under the OS umbrella. Yeah. But I think this is more interesting. Things that come un- under frame trap yeah. umbrella. I would say a tick throws a frame trap. Because it's like... So I'm looking at the term literally. Mm. So a frame trap is trapping you in a form of framage. Yeah. So whether it be block stun, hit stun, whatever. So like more come as a perfect example of like hit stun. Yes. Where you would jail someone. That that's a form of a frame trap. Yeah. I think a tick throw would be a frame trap as well. But that's my definition of a frame trap. Trapping you like literally trapping you in some sort of framage that makes it more advantageous for that per player. I don't know what yours is because we actually haven't talked about this. About no, the actually, concept of frame traps. I really like I really like that definition because it still works for the ST version. Because you're basically saying that I'm putting you in a situation using frame advantage or mm-hmm. whatever to limit your options. Yeah. I think that's the key general term. So I'm going like in ST, it's limiting you can't jump or press a button, all you can do is reversal. Yeah. In modern games, it's like you can jump, but you can't press a button, like yeah. certain buttons. Yeah, yeah. You know, in a worse frame trap, oh, you can't press fierce, but you can press jab. So it right. is a, it's going, here's my frame advantage, and I am creating a small window where you cannot do all of your options. And that's the trap. Exactly. It's like you, that's the trap. you take, you either 
accept that you're in jail mm -hmm. or you risk it and do something like obviously you would prefer it to be something unsafe yes so like when I think of frame traps I always think of coding mm -hmm. and doing forward medium forward medium yeah like that's a classic I can't remember the frames shout out to Pax he probably knows <laughs> but if you do forward medium forward medium from what I saw it beat jabs anything that wasn't invincible no that was the whole thing right forward medium uh, beat forward medium into back medium or another button. That's what beat jabs. But you would do forward medium, forward medium because they respected the frame trap. Right. So the trap was, I mean, what did you get from doing forward medium, forward medium? Just conditioning? Yeah, because you're. Yeah. it's just basically going like, you're respecting this and then I want you to get antsy. Then I'm going to do one of the quick buttons right. where I get the frame trap. So I, I guess for me, conditioning is part of the trap. Yes. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I mean, the, the thing about fighting games in general is mind games is always going to play a part in most yeah. umbrella terms because there are very few things in fighting games even in really quite specific tech that doesn't have some other slight variation to its meaning so like frame traps right mm -hmm. it's limiting the options but like how 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 tight are the cuffs you know what i mean like right. where where is yeah. the limit on here so what now, like you look at Street Fighter, people are doing really late frame traps because people are late teching all of the time. Yeah. So now the frame traps yeah. are like, I'm doing a jab, then I'm doing a fucking 20 frame start move because I'll get sir damage from it and it will beat you late teching. But hypothetically, it's a shit frame trap because you can yeah. press any button. Yeah, because if you look at a frame trap, it's like I'm beating your best quote unquote which is normally your quickest option exactly yeah and like you said you're you're basically turning your frame trap into a with mm, a counter poke not with punish yeah you're not with, kind of yeah yeah you're, take, you're taking your the condition from the frame trap into a counter poke where normally a counter poke would be well traditionally would be in neutral hitting someone's good poke yeah 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 totally it it, it becomes more of a read where it is like you're yeah. not actually trapping those buttons in like a more technical sense where it's like there's only a two frame gap so that means you can't get your three frame jab out. yeah it's it, not limiting it's, yeah it's kind of like putting you in jail locking you up which would be the tight frame trap like you can't yes. do anything yeah yeah or going you're in jail I'm going to turn my I'm going to turn my head around if I see you walk out I'm going to shoot you yes exactly but you could you could do something you, you could, could get something. away with it but you could also uh, reap a worse outcome yeah, it's like the frame trap is almost the set, like, the frame trap is a, you know, in late game, fight late fighting games when people have been playing a lot and at high level, the frame trap is, even, like, kind of works as a, a hypothetical jailing situation, where it's like, actually, if you watch a lot of players now, they're not doing as many, well, you know, if, flows but like they're not doing as many like tight frame traps no. because people know this is a frame trap yes so then suddenly it, yeah. everyone starts doing loose frame traps and then everyone starts you know teching early and then everyone does tight frame traps again that's the mind game but the frame trap the idea of the frame trap and having that possibility yeah of jailing you and making sure you can't press another button here that idea is what opens up this massive window of opportunities so it's more like I don't know. This this might be me going a bit too far <laughs> away from the from the uh, from the track that we all know and love. But frame track seems more like a concept than tech. Yeah. When yeah. you look at it past what a frame trap is, it's conditioning. It's um, it's a mind game. It's a tool as part of everything, right? So without the frame without the frame trap tech, without being able to go, I can punish your quickest like, yeah. quickest button. There's no conditioning, right? Yeah. So the frame trap to me starts at I can punish your quickest button and right. trap you. So like the cuffs are real tight. Yeah. But it opens up immediately after you've established that. After right. you know that the character can do this. Yeah. It's, that's when it gets. It's tricky. like having a DP. Exactly. So it's like you can jump. I might DP. Yeah. I or might not. Having a full super meter. Yeah. And everyone's yeah. like, oh, I can't throw fireballs. And yeah. then you start throwing okay. fireballs. So it's it's the it's the. I have the tool that makes it strong not doing the tool. Yes. Uh, well, it is obviously, but that's the mind game part of it. It's not like an OS where it's just like, it doesn't matter that you know, this OS still works the same way. Exactly. Right. Because, so, like, because if you think about it, if it was like, um, 
if you always did the same option, you always did the, frame, the same frame trap, it may as well be block stun because you're not going to do anything out of it. Yeah. Apart you, from maybe a reversal or whatever. But yeah, and then it comes down to the point where it's like, even though you know I can do a frame trap, I'm going to do this into throw, which exactly. you could be. So yeah. So it, it's another umbrella. It's concept it's umbrella. It's concept not, umbrella. It's not le- it is a legit piece of tape, but it doesn't work when other people know about it. Yeah, it doesn't... It's a piece of tech. I think you can, like, boil it down to the, like, punishing their quickest option, right, yeah. from something. Yeah. Like, or vaguely pull it yeah. down to that. Yeah, I think that's the best way. Yeah, it, it is... Yeah, quickest. The quickest is probably the safest. Yeah, I wanted to say best, but that's too broad. Yeah, it's because too- it could be... You could be talking about, like, invulnerable shit. Yeah, and blah, exactly. Blah, blah. Then it's... Yeah, so yeah, quick as button, that's not invincible. Yeah, yeah. Right. And so you're, so that's where it is, but it, that is just part of a massive tool set. Like, that is yeah. part of, like, the frame trap itself may as well be block stun if you can't do something to make it yeah. a bigger frame trap. It's fantasy frames. Exactly. Man. Fantasy, yeah. Um, it, this, on paper, is plus five, but because I know you're not going to press a button after it, it might as well be plus 25. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's like the hardest thing. That's the hardest concept. I'm glad we talked about this, but accidentally. <laughs> because like, that is like the hardest concept to explain to new players. Yeah. Is like, because you know, everyone opens up their first Excel spreadsheet of like fucking frame data and they're like, oh yeah, man, I'm a wizard. Like, yeah, that's the Andy gun frame. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Makes everyone feel like a god at home. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> You're like, oh man, if you instant block this, I know what to do. But it's like, it, it makes you like they think oh because it's plus two i have to then do a move that is three frames so that means there's like one frame gap and they can't do anything yeah but realistically that is like that is just the cream on top of the trifle mate like that is that's the beginning of everything yeah. that is just one thing to make you go oh shit now i have to it's it's one of the tool, one of the few tools i think is like the player doing it knowing it is cool but the opponent knowing that you can do it is way more beneficial. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you yeah. knowing the frame trap is kind of irrelevant. It's more important that your opponent knows the frame trap. Yeah. And <clears throat> you being able to implement and show them it is the important bit. You knowing it and like hiding it like you do in normal tech yeah. isn't beneficial to you. No, no, yeah, no. They have to know it. Uh, it. This is why it's hard. Some people suffer like mid, like early on, like mid level players suffer playing as new players. Because yeah. they have got to the point now where they're thinking they understand that, like, oh, I can actually do, <laughs> like, a plus button and walk forward. Yeah. And then the new player's just like, oh, I'm going to fucking hit jab every time. Fantasy frames. If they don't know the frames, the frame doesn't work. Exactly. It, 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 like, and even at top level, everyone suddenly looks bare ignorant because they, yeah. everyone's pressing jab and wake up. And you're like, what, why are they doing that? They can get me. And it's like, they know that. That's yes. why they're not respecting the me because the me only works if the opponent is scared of it yeah that's it if you show you're not scared of it they're not going to meet you every time yeah yeah no you're right i think that is the difference between it is the at every level say we've got three levels low mid high yeah at every level that mind game works differently yeah yeah completely that works differently and that's why you don't get it as much now but you've got the low tier players being high tiers because they would not respect the frame traps and stuff like that they wouldn't respect the concepts because frames to them were a, a concept of the mind yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> it's like you can tell me i'm minus seven it doesn't mean anything to me yeah. and if that is your like idea of it then you aren't minus seven because you're still going to press a button yeah. and not understand that they can beat your next option which lacks which takes away your fear which makes the frame jump not work yeah that's why i think that's one of the key reasons why they're removing vulnerable reversals yeah. from street Fighter five without me it's like in ST, it was a pretty common thing to just, like, DP. It, like, there was no, like, full guard or whatever, but, yeah. like, you would DP between shit. Like, that's a normal yeah. thing to do. It's a normal thing to do in, like, a lot of fucking games. Like, people did it in Street Fighter 4 all the time. It was the biggest complaint about Street Fighter 4. It's because you had the full guard where... What is it actually called? Where you block, like, the first attack, and if it's true block string, it auto-guards. All, I think it's auto-guards. I mean, yeah... It's something like that. Yeah, but you we get know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you block one attack, and then if, if if it's a true string, 
you just block the rest. You just have to do up down. Yeah, you yeah. can be like pressing all kind of directions on your stick yeah. as long as you're up or down depending yeah. on the thing. I think only Mortal Kombat doesn't. So far, Mortal Kombat's only one that doesn't have that. As long if you let go of the block button, you're out of block. Well, Guilty Gear doesn't have it either. No, Gu- does Guilty Gear does have Gu- it. God, yeah. Because it came in, at, I remember very specifically in Street Fighter. I mean, maybe yeah. it's in other games because I used to just play Street Fighter. Like, that was a big deal because you could mash DP during strings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every other, uh, most, Marvel definitely had it. Guilty, I'm pretty sure I had it. I, I remember blocking unintentionally against Sean a lot of times. <laughs> and I was definitely doing the oh, movement. Oh, yeah, that, that definitely does happen. That does happen, right? Yeah, when he doesn't, like, space his frame traps and you're like, oh, you look sick, be like, it's complete order. Yeah, 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 that definitely happens. Uh, yeah. I think it is in most games. But yeah, you're probably right. That's that's why it's there. Um, yeah, I think what have we gone from? We've gone from TikToks. TikToks. So terminology, uh, taking terminology literally. So from tick, trying to debunk <laughs> the reasoning why it's called tick. Uh, sound effects, I'm putting it out there. Then we went to frame traps and then the umbrella factor where it's like frame traps are a concept that originates from tech. Yes. It's, it's a piece of tech that only works when people know about it. It's not a piece of tech that works better when people don't know about it, which most tech is. I don't know. I personally would put it more down to a a strat and a concept than tech. Yeah. Frame traps, personally. Like, I mean, this is probably a conversation for another video. Yeah, yeah, yeah But yeah, this is the difference between tech and a gimmick, in my mind. A gimmick is something... Yeah. Ooh, well, uh, all right. Fucking EastEnders, like <laughs> the, the moment. I in my head, a gimmick is any form of strategy that is beneficial. The opponent doesn't know about it, uh, and tech is beneficial where the opponent does know about it. Whoa! Wait! 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 The t- mate, boom! Boom! <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, uh, but we'll find it after our music too. Jesus. <laughs> 